We've learned a few techniques for sketching curves, so let's try them on this one. Uh, our function is x squared over the square root of x plus 1. So one of the first things we should check is the domain. We should notice that there's two things that could go wrong. First off, we can't take the square root of a negative number. And second off, we can't divide by 0. So certainly I need the square root of x plus 1 to not be equal to 0. And also I need x plus 1 to be greater than or equal to 0. And what this gives us is that x should be greater than minus 1. That's our domain. If it's less than minus 1, I'm taking the square root of a negative number. And if it's equal to minus 1, I'm dividing by 0. But also, I should have a vertical asymptote at x equals minus 1. Because again, if I have a minus 1, I'm dividing by 0. The top's not 0. So it should be a vertical asymptote there. Before we draw up an axis, let's also find our intercepts f of 0 is 0, so the origin is an intercept. But there's no other time when this function is 0, right? If I set it equal to 0, it's only true when x is equal to 0. So this is our only, asymptote, uh, our only intercept. Also, this function is never going to be negative, because the top is never negative and the bottom is never negative. So we've got uh, uh, our intercept and our vertical asymptote. Let's see what happens towards our vertical asymptote. Well, to the left of it, our function is not defined. So what's the limit as x goes to negative 1 from the right of this function? The top is just going to look like 1, and the bottom is going to get smaller and smaller. But since the square root, it's going to be positive. So the top and the bottom are both positive. Because the bottom is going to 0 while the top is not, we know it's going to be positive or negative infinity, so it's got to be infinity. So we have an asymptote kind of like this. We can think about our horizontal asymptotes too. We don't have the function defined out by negative infinity, but we have it defined out to positive infinity. And this is going to be infinity. So there's no horizontal asymptote. If this were a number, it would be a horizontal asymptote. But we know the end behavior. We know that it's going to go off to infinity as x goes to infinity. So now we'd like to know a little bit more. So let's think about the derivative. We can use the quotient rule. And we simplify. And notice, usually when you have the square root of something squared, you get its absolute value. In this case, uh, because x plus 1 is going to be non-negative, we can ignore the absolute values because it's not going to be negative. So here's our derivative. And we can see that at minus 1, we have a singularity. That's no surprise. We also have a critical point at x equals 0. So actually, the function's going to, uh, its derivative is going to 0 out there. When I'm less than 0, well, let's see, the bottom's always positive because of our domain. When I'm close to 0, but a little bit less, I'm going to have a negative times a positive. So it's going to be negative, so my function is decreasing until x equals 0. And then, if x is greater than 0, my derivative is positive. I can look at all these terms are positive. So now it's going to be increasing, and we know that this function goes all the way up to infinity. So here's our function. It, at negative 1, it shoots up to infinity, and then it dips down to be 0 at 0, and then it shoots back up to infinity.